Henry VIII, Henry Tudor, was the king that signed England over to the Illuminati agenda. After Henry VIII, all rulership in England, whether it's a, a supposedly elected or royalty, is always in lockstep with the New World Order Illuminati plan. So out of nowhere, this Illuminati king gives young William Penn Pennsylvania for free. A landmass of virgin timber and mineral deposits bigger than England, Scotland, and uh, Ireland combined. Just out of the goodness of his heart. Well, that's what people are told. Let's take a look at the statue of Billy, Billy Penn on top of City Hall in Philadelphia, and let's have the analysis of my Amalekite mother. Amalekite mother. Amalekite mother. Tell, tell us what's really going on here. Uh, the dark and coldest, to my knowledge, have always been uh, prevalent in society, the steers and manipulators of society through religion and finance. And uh, basically, uh, the rest of the human race uh, are their cattle. Uh, let me uh, go into a little history of my personal family and also uh, Illuminati history that I was taught when I was being groomed to be a member of the Illuminati when I was a child. Uh, basically, my mother can trace her uh, satanic heritage, satanic heritage, satanic heritage, satanic heritage back 3,000 years. Uh, mother to daughter witchcraft uh, to the Amalekite people, Amalekite people, Amalekite people, Amalekite people of the Middle East. Uh, the Amalek are spoken of in uh, the Old Testament. Uh, King Saul was ordered by uh, Jehovah to uh, kill all the Amalek. Uh, but a story I was told when I was a child was that when the Jews and King Saul were slaughtering the Amalekite, uh, basically what they did was uh, they disobeyed God. They decided instead of killing all the people and all the cattle and sheep, they decided to herd the cattle and sheep and use them for sacrifice to Jehovah. This was not the orders that were given by Jehovah. And so my mother's story to me when I was a child learning true history about Atlantis and about the dark occult was when the Amalekite herds were being rounded up by the Jews in the valley of the Amalek, uh, a caravan of Amalek coming from Egypt uh, into the valley, saw the slaughter, and slipped away to Moab, which is uh, modern-day Jordan. And that's why you'll find, even though supposedly Saul killed all the Amalekite uh, 300 years later in the Old Testament, you're finding that the Jews are fighting the Amalek once again in Jordan. Right. Uh, or Moab, as it is called. And that's why, uh, you know, we even see the term Moab today in the mother of all bombs. Uh, I do not know when the Jews, the dark occult Jews, and the, uh, which are the Akhenazi Jews, Akhenazi Jews, Akhenazi Jews, the Jews that actually run uh, Judaism for their own selfish dark occult interests. They are not the uh, Torah Jews. They are not the uh, Torah Jews. They are not the uh, Torah Jews. They are a dark 
cult of Atnis. They are a dark cult of Atnis. 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 And uh, Michael Desarion goes in in very much detail, and so does Jordan Maxwell, into the Atnis religion. Uh, it's basically uh, the worship of the negative sun. Worship of the negative sun. Worship of the negative sun. 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 Uh, Akhenaten. 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 All that stuff. Uh, I grew up in a multi-generational satanic family. My mother and father were both cult members. My father, uh, ancestors, joined the Illuminati in approximately 1720s, uh, well before Adam Weishap uh, supposedly formed the Illuminati in Bavaria in 1776. Uh, The Illuminati, to my knowledge, goes back uh, to Babylon and uh, even before then to the previous age on Earth, the age of Atlantis. In fact, my father and his occult friends would refer to themselves as Atlantean warlocks. Mm. But in the case of my parents, uh, I just want to say that uh, both of them were school teachers. Both of them were lifelong pedophiles and human sacrificers. Both of them, uh, my father's still alive to my knowledge, uh, but my mother did pass away. Both of them uh, were, were born into a system that, from my research and my mother's talking to me, uh, not only is there sexual abuse in the cradle, like what I went through with my mother and father, but there is also in vitro electroshock given to the fetus. Uh, 